We now know the actual release cadence that's coming in classic World of Warcraft. We know what the next phases are all going to be, what's coming when, not only for Season of Discovery, but also for classic hardcore and also for Cataclysm, if you're going to be playing that. And like usual, we have some class tuning that has come out today because it is a Tuesday. Now, there weren't some crazy changes. We're going to see a lot less class tuning as we move towards the later sections of whichever phase we're in. And we were kind of midway towards the back end of phase one in Season of Discovery. And the first change was for mages. Now their Living Flame does officially consume and benefit from the stacks of Arcane Blast. This makes your next Living Flame stronger, and it also will make that Living Flame just consume the Arcane Blast stacks. Now this is mostly a PvE change because in raids are mostly the only time when you're going to be able to set up Arcane Blasts and then use Living Flames. It's not really something you can get get off too easily in boosting situations, but this will be a nice change for mages. Paladin's Avenger's Shield, if you guys never noticed, Avenger's Shield would be on you for like six seconds, maybe it's eight seconds, but the snare effect on it acted as a daze, not a normal slow, so you couldn't do anything to get out of it. You couldn't shift if you were a druid, you couldn't use a free action potion, you, you basically could never get out of that. It has been changed to now work as a normal snare and can be removed from movement reduction or movement removing effects. Now, mana management is something that a lot of classes are struggling with. So Paladins and Shamans both had their mana management CD, Seal of Martyrdom and Shamanistic Rage increased from 10% to 20%. This makes things a lot easier for some of the classes that are struggling with mana issues. Rogues, their tanking situation is not amazing right now this is not the phase for rogue tanks unfortunately but they will be really really strong later on but rogues blade dance ability has been updated to grant 10 percent parry at all ranks now if you use it with a higher rank or you use blade dance as a finisher with more combo points up on the target the only difference will be an increase in duration this now works like slice and dice instead of having a one point blade dance only give you two or four parry percentage and then needing to get a five point to get that 10% parry percentage. Past that, we also got some tailoring changes that are really nice. Some new best in slot items for tailors. Now, these are the Invoker's Court and Invoker's Mantle, which could now be made by tailors that are 150 rating. And these are going to be some belt piece and shoulder piece that give seven spell damage and a little bit of intellect for each of them. And these are really good because they are alternatives to something that one alliance didn't have have a very good option. Horde does have a good option in the shoulder slot if you are a caster, which was the frayed chestnut mantle, but Alliance did not get this. So Alliance had no really solid shoulder items and Horde and Alliance, no casters really had a spell power belt available to them. And now for all of the fun stuff, the future of Season of Discovery is here year and the future of World of Warcraft Classic in general. We know that Ruby Sanctum is coming out on January 11th. So right after that, this winter, we will also have the update to level 40, the next expansion in Season of Discovery or the next level bracket. We will get new runes, all confirmed new runes. This means we will now have things like belt runes, probably shoulder runes with this. I would anticipate every like level bracket will give us some more runes to all of the different slots so every slot will have some runes either way level 40 is coming this winter it should be in january probably probably mid to late january then we will have new runes the new pvp event which will be stranglethorn veil vale. definitely something they've learned a lot from battle for ashen veil vale. it's still it's still pretty buggy but they're definitely going to be translating a lot of those hard learned lessons, those failures, those flaws, and what worked over to Stranglethorn Veil. Vale. And then we will have the Nomer again raid, a Nomer raid. That's why you cannot enter into Nomer right now. A lot of people were speculating that we would have Scarlet Monastery as a raid at level 40 as well. It looks like we're going to have just one raid potentially for each of these sections. So just one raid right now, at least until we're level 60, there will be a new 
meta at level 40. Gnomes are going to be the best race in the entire game because gnomes are the only class that can make gnomish battle chickens because they can get engineering to 230 next phase. This is going to be a huge caveat for anyone that wants to pump or parse. You are going to need to be a Basically, you're going to need to be Alliance and have gnomes in your group and be a gnome if you are going to be like a physical DPS. Now, past that, right after that, we will be seeing the Cataclysm beta. This is kind of an overlap as well. During the Season of Discovery Phase 2, we will have the Cataclysm beta as well as a launch right after that of the self found mode in hardcore this will allow us to do a ton more tournaments like the hardcore all-stars tournaments or mock raw tournaments that you have seen uh hosted either by myself or zaryu or the otk tournaments so be ready for a ton more of the events that you can participate in as well as just watch as viewers now right after that in spring we will have the level cap go up to level 50 we will get again new runes and a new raid this is a section where we don't know what the raid will be be. I would anticipate that this raid is probably something like Maradon. This is a level 50 section where we want a longer instance, a longer dungeon that can be portrayed as a raid. This also might be the first time we see a completely new zone entered in as a raid. Level 50 is a good place to have something like an Ashara raid where we might have something happening there. Although I would anticipate Ashara potentially being more of a PvP zone like like it was originally but then we have quite a bit of time before the launch of level 60 and end game content in between that time we will have cataclysm actually launching we will have the cataclysm pre-patch event which comes with wargans and goblins now being available in wow classic improved guild features account-wide collections and transmog which i think is something that's really nice to make your character look cool although i love the viscerality of knowing what someone's wearing and being able to tell what type of gear or how powerful the characters are so this is something that is where we're starting to move into the new sections if you still think it's classic or if you don't whichever we are getting cataclysm and it's coming and then we will have cataclysm launch at the beginning of summer this is where we will have the campaign story we will have four raids on launch seven dungeons two heroic dungeons a pvp battleground and dark moon island which i totally forget and after a bit of time with this launch because cataclysm is the widest of the entire branches on the roadmap we will have season of discovery level 60 cap we will get finally the final runes or most likely the final runes but new runes again and end game activities this is going to be starting out with some of the earlier raids as well as potentially some brand new raids as and a ton of new end game activities most likely that will be things we've never really experienced before they will have to do some class tuning or some raid tuning if we want to go in and have a good experience in something like molten core because we do already some of the damage or dps that we would see level 60 characters doing and this is going to be kind of a theme there's going to be new items new ways to play the game new experiences in the game so get ready for the first time that we can hit level 60 content to be this summer now i am just bad at knowing the seasons so i had to open up a calendar to give us a real breakdown of when all of these things are so winter will be in january we will most likely mid to late january have that first breakdown of getting to level 40. then it's probably going to be somewhere around may late april to early may where we have the update that lets us go to level 50. then in summer it's probably hopefully going to be early in the summer but realistically because we have the cataclysm launch it might be late the summer so august to september for the breakdown that allows us to level up to level 60 and then all the way at the end of the year somewhere in october or november most likely november before the end of the year and before they get like the q4 numbers you want obviously as a company a boost in memberships we're gonna see a new launch the final phase or not final phase the final currently announced phase for season of discovery where there's more end game updates we're gonna have a ton of things at level 60. this is gonna last for a while because this is gonna be a progressive realm we won't instantly be in blackwing lair we won't instantly be in any of the new raids that we haven't seen yet karazhan crypts and 
I don't know, the Scarlet Monastery raid that I was just talking about. Any of these things that might happen, we will have later on. They might come at level 60 right away, but I would anticipate that they will do a lot of the new raids coming kind of with that second update and as well as unlocking some of the old raids with new adjustments that make things kind of more fun. So this lets us know that we can expect this year a ton of content in World of Warcraft. There's never going to be a full lull. And if you are having a lull right now, even at level 25, then all you need to do is level up some more alts. I am working on my fourth and fifth alts, and I will have a guide breaking down the fastest ways to level your alts because you can level up insanely quickly if you know what you're doing correctly. But either way, guys, if you are excited for Cataclysm Classic, if you're excited for hardcore self found or the events that might run with it or you're just excited for season of discovery make sure to follow the channel and subscribe if you want to stay updated with everything that's coming in the future i'm really hyped that blizzard gave us this roadmap and hopefully they can stick to it and we will see how that all goes and i will see you guys all on the next one